Hey, good evening. Welcome back to another episode of What's the Deal With? Tonight, we're talking governors. And not the British, oh, governor, or the people that either make your life fun or not fun, depending on which state you live in. Not fun if it's Illinois. Anyway, um, also, fun fact, we are dealing with the fact that uh, now that it's above freezing, like I don't have my heat on tonight, I forgot that my garage is lower than my driveway, which means any snow I had piled up has leaked its way into the garage floor. So I'm sitting, I'm standing in about two inches of water right now. Luckily, it's just near the drain, so not, it'll be fine. It'll. It'll go away, but it makes it where we'll see how that tomorrow night's video might be. Bimster shovels water out of his drive out of his garage so I can work because it's zero fun. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring you around. We're gonna pop this some parts off of the old uh, not diesel 880, not an 880, not not a diesel. Uh, Super 88, and I'm going to show you the ins and outs of a, of a governor. Basically, I'm going to give you the rundown. Governor is what allows, it's a speed controller for your tractor. And I can kind of, I'm going to kind of show you how that works and some of the science. I was going to bring home one of our, uh, a, a governor out of one of our engines from work. And, uh, well, what do you guess? I forgot to bring it home, but it's pretty easy to explain. Um, a governor is a mechanical device. I'll give you the little rundown before we tear us apart, mostly because I'm delaying because my feet are soaked. Um, it's a mechanical device. Out of here. Wow, distracted. Anyway, it's a mechanical device that runs off of usually the camshaft or some gear in the tractor. And it runs, it's got a gear on it and then it's got weights. Imagine, look at my hand here. And as the RPM go, the faster the RPM go, the weights are gonna go out and then there's a pin in the middle and they're gonna go out and they're gonna force that pin up. So that's how on its own you spin. That's why you ever have a governor and you spin it and then the pin will come up. Starts and they came out, um, they started in like steam engine stuff. I think it was like 18, 1780, some 88 was the last number, definitely wasn't 19. Um, that's my model year. When James Watt, I'm pretty sure that's the guy who came up with the idea, uh, designed it for his engines. But the reason why they put it in tractors was it allowed for if you set your speed of your engine, which would correlate to your ground speed, um, it would allow it to stay the same. It also is a way to keep it from just running as wide as you want to do. Because obviously when these engines first came out, they're very low RPM. This is still, I think this thing's like 1600 or 1700 or something like that. Um, RPM, and if it didn't have any way to control the, th the throttle, the only thing that would control how fast you could turn the, the motor would be your valve springs. Your valve springs will actually, they'll go into what they call valve float, where they can't spin any faster, they're just sitting there floating around in la-la land, you hear blah, 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 blah. that's bad. Um, and you don't want that. And also, it would be a pain in the butt in the field if you didn't have a governor, because you would be going along, and you'd set your throttle at whatever you want. Let's say, you know, let's say imagine, there wasn't governors, you just had a, your, your throttle was hooked directly to your carburetor, like on a car. Um, well then, you know on a car, you gotta increase and decrease your throttle all the time. You're going up a hill, you gotta increase it. You're going down a hill, you gotta decrease it if you wanna keep that speed the same. Your governor does the same thing, auto magically. And it's pretty cool that that's what they, you know, technology that run in the 30s is still basically used, um, you know, and stuff still, still today. You know, it's what your lawnmower does. What it's on to load, then it's really professional sound effects here you're getting. So your governor, you know what? How about I just show you? I'll show you. You guys want to see? I'll show you. My feet are so wet. I didn't stop. Hey, I told you I'd get this tore apart before I break back. What are you doing? Silly thing. I'm the one that hate going on the camera. I swear I'm gonna take this thing off 15 more times. I thought the 88 wasn't the tractor that I had to take all this off to do this demonstration, but it, it, it apparently is. Also, apparently, I'm tighter than I thought. 
goody. Just excellent. Everything is just great. It's just awesome. Let's set that back there. Okay. I'll, I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. All right, I brought you back. You all waited. Okay, so here's some governor. This is your link because it comes from your throttle. Here's your spring, because it's springy. And then here's your governor mechanism. It's all, does fancy things in there. So this is basically, right now we are at wide open throttle. Okay. So wide open throttle, your, this is connected to your throttle lever, which if you guys know Oliver's, you're all the way down. Let's take that all the way back up. I'll show you it looks like differently there. So that's hooked up to there with some linkages. See that spring looks different. So when you pull in your throttle, you're pulling this shaft back this way. See how it works is your governor and your throttle, so this shaft and this shaft, not this shaft. Imagine these are kind of, see these are connected here, so it kind of makes this like one side and this is the other. And they are in a tug of war. Getting windy out there. Um, so your, thr your governor is always trying to close your throttle. Like right now, the throttle, if you go, with, I could have a camera that looked right here, it'd be wide open. Actually, no, it's closed because it's the thrust. It's closed. Yeah. Um, um, and so what would happen is, is you turn the tractor on. See how there's that, that movement there? Well, that is also probably because there's some sloppy joints throughout this whole setup. Anyway, but what's happening is that, remember that gear we talked about that would open up and there's that panel or there's that something that would come out and engage this? The faster it spins, the faster the engine's spinning, the more it's pushing against that. Which, if we know from looking down there, this, when it's when this is trying to push forward, it's trying to bring the throttle back down. And it can't, because this thing, this throttle lever, isn't pulling against the spring at all. Or not much. So, it easily can overcome the spring pressure, close the throttle. Now, let's say you want to have more throttle. Well... Come down so you can see a little bit. Oh, I just sat in a puddle of water. Anyway, if you had this back farther, it would be tug of warring this way. And when it pulls th this way, it is going to make this thing. I'll actually show you. That's easier if I show you again. So we go from idle. So blah, 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 blah. And also go, wah! Not going to actually sound like that because oh, tractor. So now that that's open all the way. It is trying, it is wanting to pull that throttle wide open. But see this, as the engine turns on RPM, it's gonna be able to higher, it turns RPM, it's gonna be able to push that back forward, closing the throttle. Now right now it's really hard because this spring, it's a lot of pressure to overcome. So the engine's gonna have to um, really spin up an RPM and it'll fight that, but it's probably gonna stay, you know, pretty much wide open, then you'll hear it kind of, you hear kind of that, that governor sound, wah, 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 um, the good one to always listen to is whenever you see a, uh, you know, a, cl a polling class where they're either metered by speed or metered, especially if they're metered by RPM, you hear them coming down the track and rah, 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 rah. what's happening there is my technical sound effects, I'm hoping you guys are all enjoying this. Is this thing sitting there at the governor? And so when it's sitting here, it's gonna kind of, it's gonna be kind of doing that. So it's gonna be kind of sitting there floating there like that because it's trying to, every time the RPM comes up, it pushes against here, close the throttle a little bit. The throttle, the RPM then will drop a little bit, which will cause this to come back. It's gonna come back, open the throttle back up. Guess what's gonna happen? So it's gonna sit there at that, whatever the rated speed is or whatever you change it to because you can adjust these to make the RPM higher, make the RPM lower. You can actually change, depending on where, and depending on what type of bar you have, you can change the sensitivity. So the governor is more sensitive or less sensitive. So a more sensitive governor, when it would be quicker on the, it would, it would come down quicker. A less sensitive one wouldn't be so jumpy. Um, it all depends on your application. But, so yeah, so that is what, and the Olivers are kind of, 
they look when this is closed, it looks like that's all connected, but it's not. Um, and so this frame can affect. So if you're having issues with your governor, you can adjust, and you can actually see here how there's um, there's different holes here. So you can actually adjust. Oh, I was I was looking at those. I mean, you guys, you can adjust this. You can adjust quite a few different uh, areas in your mechanism to make it the the, the desirable RPM. Like for our, us pulling, we have a ten percent um, plus or minus. So you have to be able to run that. What you do is you go wide up and throttle, and it's going to sit there and hover at that whatever your rated RPM is, depending on the N NTPA um, chart. So, so that is the what's the deal with governors. It's been a lot of um, pretty simple device. They're in everything from lawnmowers to your old tractors to newer tractors. Um, it makes it where, and just remember, if you're ever thinking about it, it's a tug of war. The governor... You know, and if, if this was, this is, I'm doing two examples, a full throttle, the half throttle. If you're at half throttle, let's let's go half throttle. I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Sorry, I was going to wrap this up because my feet are completely frozen because I'm standing in water. Let's go half throttle. So half throttle, that's, this thing definitely needs some adjustment because that wasn't really that impressive at half throttle. Let's go there. So half throttle, you can see we have a little bit of spring tension here. It's pulled back. There's a lot more here because it's got to, you know, this is where you're going to see it, you know, doing, and it's like when you, when it's at half throttle, you're going along and let's say you hit that load, boah, it's going to do this. It's, or excuse me, it's going to, as soon as this engine starts up, because right now I, I can do this all because the engine's not running. The engine's running, this should be tight because it would be against that, those, that, that bar from the, from that governor mechanism that's spinning by the camshaft would be pushing out on this. And so it'd be pushing it out as far as it could fight it to keep that, to get the, to get the RPM where it does at the desired, which would be about, you know, about half throttle, maybe a thousand RPM. And then as it's sitting here, let's say it's pushed out here and all of a sudden the RPM drops, it's going to have less push against it. It's going to come back down. So I was going to open up. So I was going to open up. RPMs are going to rise back up. It's going to maintain that. So again, if you're having an issue with the governor, it's going to be from hunting. It's going to sound like it's like, eh, 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 all the time. These sound effects are just mint. Um, and other things. I know on the 70, I've had to do some adjustments on the front here. There's an adjustment on the sensitivity or on um, how it's I'm, – I'm not actually sure what it was on the 70. I just had to look, I had to look in the book. But um, I adjusted this uh, here, and it changed. It was too sensitive. It was like zero throttle, all throttle. So I needed to make that less sensitive so it could it could work a little bit better. But I should actually know what I did there. And honestly, I, whoops. But yeah, you know what? I'm gonna throw that for that for that mistake. I'll throw a really quick video here of uh, one of our engines running today, and um, there'll be a big video coming out on Midwest Horsepower. Link in the description. Check that out. And we'll come back and we'll wrap things up. So be right back. Video and then sum it all up. So that's the deal with governors. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Like and subscribe. More videos coming out this week. Um, might be a little bit of a delay as I deal with all of this <laughs> issue. Hopefully I can get that figured out here pretty soon. So we'll uh, take care of that. You might see some more of that tomorrow. But yeah, if you like these, let me know in the description or in the description. Let me know in the comments what you have questions on on these old antiquers. And we can go through it on next week's What's the Deal With. But this has been What's the Deal With Governors. All right, see you in the next one.